from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. We found out how many students are not wearing masks in Henrico schools, and the county works to attract research and development labs. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. And now for the news. Well, in an effort to attract bioscience research and development wet labs to the county, Henrico officials are considering building a speculative facility that could house several of those labs. And they're also planning to slash the business personal property tax rate that those businesses would pay if they locate in Henrico to one of the lowest levels in the state. The two plans were proposed publicly by Henrico Economic Development Authority Executive Director Anthony Romanello during a day-long Board of Supervisors retreat on January 22nd. The idea is to position Henrico to take advantage of a demand for that lab space locally and statewide and build upon its growing bioscience presence. The county is already home to several key R&D firms, including Innsbruck-based Jeanette Works and Westwood-based PPD. And in total, there are some 650 bioscience firms in the metro Richmond region overall. There have been requests for nearly 1 million square feet of lab space in Henrico, Hanover, Chesterfield, and Richmond combined in the past two years. But there's nearly no available space, according to Romanello. That's because developers are not in a rush to build spec buildings for wet labs. The cost can be prohibitive. That's why he believes if the county can build a perhaps 100,000 square foot or larger shell building, maybe at the White Oak Technology Park that Henrico owns in Sandston, it would have a key advantage in trying to attract those firms. That pitch would be enhanced in a significant way if the county creates a separate business personal property tax rate of less than $1 per $100 of assessed value specifically for R&D firms. That would be the lowest such rate of any major Virginia locality. Currently, those businesses pay $3.50 for $100 of value in Henrico. Learn more about this topic right now on HenricoCitizen.com. I've got complete coverage. Henrico County Public Schools serves almost 49,000 students, but only about one dozen families are refusing to follow the district's masking rules, citing the governor's executive order. Governor Glenn Youngkin, of course, rescinded a K-12 mask mandate The day he took office, that took effect last Monday, but despite the order, HCPS has maintained its own masking requirements, citing a state law that allows it to do so. Of the small group of families who so far are refusing to have their children wear masks in Henrico schools, most are at Deep Run High School. That's according to a school system spokeswoman. A group of 13 Deep Run students whose parents would not let them wear masks last week completed schoolwork from the school's auditorium. But starting yesterday, the group of students was allowed to be in classrooms without masks. There was an email sent Friday afternoon only to teachers of those 13 students in which school administrators wrote that the unmasked students are now allowed in classrooms and teachers should keep them either socially distanced or behind plexiglass if that's not possible. In most classrooms, though, there isn't enough room to space a student out six feet from classmates, according to Rachel Lawrence, a Deep Run teacher. During a faculty meeting yesterday at the school, Deep Run teachers were instructed to send any other students not wearing masks to the office. School system spokeswoman Eileen Cox told the citizen, quote, to be clear, students cannot just come to school without a mask and sit in class, end quote. Lawrence, who's a math teacher at the school, said, quote, my concerns are that students broke a policy, whether you agree with it or not, and they're being allowed to basically continue to break that policy without any consequences, end quote. Our Anna Bryson has much more about this topic and the masking debate in general. You can read her article right now on HenricoCitizen.com. Henrico County is now accepting applications for a program called My Henrico Academy. It is designed to help immigrants connect with the local government and community, as well as to access a host of programs, services, and resources. The program is being offered in connection with the Asian and Latino Solidarity Alliance of Central Virginia, It'll be held in seven sessions beginning May and running through October from 4 to 8 p.m. on select Wednesdays at various locations throughout the county. 
Topics will include business and educational opportunities, as well as tips for staying safe and healthy. A culturally diverse meal also will be provided during each session. To apply to the program, you have until March 2nd. There is a $50 deposit required to reserve a spot. You can contact the county at 501-5844 or email Raina Van at van091 at henrico.us to learn more. We've also got a link to the applications on our website, henricocitizen.com.